Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Another XYZ, and this is a video orchard tutorial on how to install uh, Linux Ubuntu on your Nexus 7. First, we're going to check and see that we have the uh, latest version of Ubuntu. We want to make sure it's 12.04 or higher. 12.10 works in my case. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. And then we're going to start by adding the repo. So the first thing you want to do is open the dash home and um, just go up to the top box and type in terminal. If you guys already know how to access your terminal, this should be no problem. And then I have a text file here with all the necessary um, with all the necessary command lines to install the repo. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. All this stuff will be in the link below. We're going to make this as easy as possible for you. So just copy and paste that first one that adds the repository to your computer and you enter your password. And then once you've entered your uh, root password, you're going to go ahead and wait for it, and then it's going to confirm whether or not you want to add the repo to your system. So you just press Enter to continue installing the repo. This is an official Ubuntu repo, so you don't need to worry about anything crazy going on with it or uh, anything suspicious. So then you're going to go ahead, after it has been completed, you'll see here it's completed. So what we're going to do is we're going to move down to the next command line that's uh, uh, sudo apt git update. And that's going to force update all your stuff so it get downloads all the stuff for the repo to make sure everything is set up correctly to install Ubuntu on your Nexus 7. Now for me, this is going to go by pretty quick because I have already installed this repo. And I've gone through this a couple times uh, just to make sure everything works properly. Alrighty, now that it's done installing the package list, we're going to go ahead and install the Ubuntu Nexus 7 installer with this third set of command code here. I'm just going to do it super easy, copy, paste, I'm pretty lazy. So we're just going to go over here, copy, right click, paste that, and then run it. And that's actually going to install the Nexus 7 installer. It was pretty quick for me because I already have it installed, but it um, should take just a few seconds to download. All right, and now we are going to go to our Nexus 7. We're going to make sure it is plugged into the USB slot on your computer. And you also want to take the micro end and install it onto the bottom of your Nexus device where you normally use for charging. And now we're going to put it into fast boot mode. So you need to hold the power button as well as the volume down button. And once these are held, you'll see it boot into Google. And then you can see here the uh, open Android. And that is fast boot mode. So we're going to jump back over to our computer here. And we're going to go ahead and do the fast boot unlock. So it's sudo fast boot OEM unlock. Uh, but I'm still pretty lazy, so I'm just going to copy and paste this in here, and then hit enter. And then you're going to hit your, uh, then you're going to type in your password to confirm. Then we're going to go back to the Nexus 7 here, and this is the unlock bootloader screen. And this is why we want to make sure that you have everything backed up on your device. Make sure you have any important information or any important applications and stuff. You want to make sure this stuff is all backed up before you unlock the bootloader, because if not, then you're going to lose it. So you just hit the power button to confirm that you want to unlock the bootloader. And um, unlocking the bootloader will void your warranty, so make sure you keep that in mind. So you just hit the power button, and we're going to run back to our computer over here. And you can see here in the terminal, it is going through the processes here. The bootloader is erasing, and it's erasing all the information on there as a uh, safety precaution for you. And then once we've gone through that, you see it's finished here. I just let it go through the cycle. went a bit fast for me because I've unlocked and locked the bootloader like eight times now. Um, it will take a little bit longer if you have stuff actually installed on there. So you want to run the Ubuntu uh, Nexus 7 installer. If you can't find it there, just go to your dash and type in Nexus 7. should be the first thing that pops up. I already had a download image uh, installed. This would normally be the spot where it pops up with a user agreement. And you just click agree to that like you would anything else. And this actually takes about two hours to download. I sped it up. And right now it is uh, finishing the download. And it's going to go ahead and unzip all the information. You need to put in your password to confirm the push to your device. So you go ahead and enter your root password, and then hit OK. And it'll run through the processes of installing on your device. This actually took about 10 to 15 minutes, but I also sped this up as well, um, just so we could go along the tutorial a little bit quicker. And once it has been installed on your device, um, we can go ahead and head back to the device, because at this point, we don't need the computer anymore. And uh, here it is. And we are just waiting for it to boot up. And what's going to happen is it's going to show up and it's going to have the Google logo as well as a unlock symbol at the bottom, just like that, to show that your bootloader is unlocked and everything. 
and it's going to come 20 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And there is a certain part that looks kind of scary with all the terminal code going in and all the stuff running by, all the package checks and stuff. So I want to make sure you guys see this to know that it's definitely not a malfunction. This is exactly what is supposed to happen. Um, this is what happens after the 10 or 15 minutes are up. It starts to install the packages for Ubuntu on your Nexus 7. So I just wanted to show this to you guys to, so that you have a clear understanding of what it looks like when it's about to boot up. All right, now that it is booted up into the system, it takes about a minute to a minute and a half to get everything rolling. It's uh, still setting up all the packages and stuff. And um, the background does look a little daunting, a little scary, but this is definitely not corrupt or anything. The background just looks really weird at first. I've installed it like three or four times today. And um, the background always looks like that until you run through the setup. And now as you can see here, you can see the uh, Wi-Fi card getting all set up and it's detecting all the hardware and whatnot. And once everything is uh, finished setting up, it'll go ahead and go to your system configuration just like when you first installed Ubuntu on your PC. You just select your language and hit continue and then the next menu that pops up is wireless stuff. You want to choose the wireless network and get everything set up so that you can have the latest packages and stuff on your Nexus 7 to ensure Ubuntu runs as smoothly as humanly possible. And just like I said before, this crazy looking TV static background, it does in fact change back to the original Ubuntu background. So it's nothing really to worry about. Alright guys, remember if this video helped you at all, remember to click like and everything you need will be in the box below. And remember, this has been a Video Orchard video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu on your Nexus 7. Jump.